If you were to ask any Zulu person who is God in our native language, you would probably be told that God is Umvelingangi or Unkulunkulu. But what most people don't know is that the word Unkulunkulu doesn't necessarily mean God, but it was intentionally or mistakenly taken from the word or sentence umkulu umkulu which means the grandfather of my grandfathers which essentially means ancestor so during colonization one of the ways in which we as black people were colonized is through missionaries uh, interacting with our African communities and of course introducing the Bible and also a new way of life which they refer to as being civilized and more uh, accepted you know and the right way of connecting with God so what they did the missionaries they would go into communities and they would live amongst the people, study their way of life, study whom their dead deities are and what they hold sacred. And then they will slowly introduce Christianity. And they had to find a way in which to make Jesus or even Christianity acceptable towards the Zulu nation. And they had to interact with the community. And they realized that within the Zulu nation, um, the Zulu people had different deities and those deities were of course Nongkubulwane, Mvelingangi and so forth. And what they realized is that Zulu people had the belief that you cannot just go directly towards God but you had to ask your ancestors, you know, to go to, to plead on your behalf. So that's why Zulu people up till this day like really respect and also honor their ancestors so they realized that zulu people would often refer to omkulu bomkulu and they would ask omkulu bomkulu for blessings and whenever they went to wars they would ask uh, omkulu bomkulu to help them succeed or to conquer so they realized that you know what this group of people honors their ancestor and if we are going to introduce a god to them we have to make that god as powerful uh, or as equivalent to what they already accept so they then introduced um the bible and they introduced the concept of Jesus and then they also introduced Unkulunkulu, mean which was closely related to Omkulu Bomkulu, intentionally in order to get the people to be more accepting. And that is why today in modern societies people would often refer to God as Unkulunkulu. But technically the word it doesn't necessarily mean, you know. God, but rather it means the ancestor of my ancestors, you know. So this is how they integrated the society. This is how they were able to penetrate us. And this is how they also were able. And this is how they were also able to make us be more accepting of Christianity because they then took a word that we that we are familiar with and they just changed the meaning of the word and this is the word that was also introduced towards the bible and i think once you do more research on that and another thing that i also found interesting with the zulu bible itself is that it was actually translated from the Kosa Bible, which is why the earlier versions of the Bible were not necessarily linguistically correct with regards to the Zulu language. This is not to say that you, you didn't understand what they were saying, but 
it just didn't have that natural flow of the tongue of the Zulu language because it was actually adapted from the earlier translations of the Tosa Bible. And the, the Zulu Bible, the modern Zulu Bible was actually launched on the 18th of October 2020. And this was after a group of people which are linguistic specialists, people who are uh, pe um, Bible uh, people who are equipped with theology and linguistics specialists and also authors, people who are equipped with the Zulu language to do the modern translations. However, I'm very sure that when you do read the Bible now, you are also going to get the word unkulunkulu, but essentially the word in itself was politically and a strategy taken from a word which is umkulu umkulu in order to make religion more acceptable towards the Zulu people. Anyways, that's it for today. And from me, Sbulelo Mieni, don't forget to be a grounding flavor. I will see you next time.